Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play FB Games with episode 13 of Korea Mode with AFC Wimbledon. As you can see, I've got the league table up here. We are top of the table at this current moment in time with an impressive record of 4 wins, 2 draws and no losses. Goal scored 13 and we've only conceded 1 so far. So that's a pretty good record after 6 games. So what I've decided to do guys is um, finding... Um, Semi-pro a little bit too easy. I'll just show you squad first. We've got Shea and goal. We're going to give Shea a go and goal. We've got Mead, Asenzo, Robinson and Flores as the back line. Reeves once again playing CDM. Midfield stay the same. And I can find and Taylor will be partnering up in striker. But what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm going to be putting a difficulty for professional just as a test. Because I'm not sure if I'm good enough to play professional. So as you can see there... Professional, clear, five minutes, the time's still staying the same, but I'm going to try with professional. If it goes well, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, then I might put it back down to semi-pro, who knows. But I want to try out professional. I'm not the best at FIFA, so I don't know if this will go well. But it's anything better than semi-pro. I'm finding semi-pro too easy, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, we're going to head straight into the game. And uh, as you can see, we're at King's Meadow. Here, if this match gets Barnett, he's shown us the league. Barnett are not in the top 10, so it should be a easy game, or at least a not-so-challenging game. I can fill with four league goals out of six games so far, and a good run of form. Hope to continue that today. And uh, Shea, I believe this is Shea's first start in the league. It's kind of been... Uh, Replaced by Juan Mar because I, I bought Juan Mar because by well, lund him in because uh, apparently his potential is pretty good. He said one for the future, so I thought, yeah, we'll give him a, we'll give him a go. As you can see, by with a pretty strong squad as well, so I have to play even better than usual because I'm professional. Fuller, Frankham, the other problem is defending is going to be more of a problem. And I find defending the problem anyway. Taylor trying to get through to Akin Fenway. It's well defended. And it's going to come all the way to McLean. Paul Robinson clears up with the back. So guys, I hope you are enjoying this career mode. If you are, then please, I don't ask this often, but please give it a thumbs up. Some of my favourite series is to record, if I'm honest. Reeves try to keep possession. It goes for a shot, but it's just wide. I don't know if that was a deflection or not. It wasn't. But yeah, like I said, guys, this is one of my favourite series is to record. Hopefully, it's one of your favourite series is to watch. Um, yeah, I enjoy doing career modes, especially when they're being recorded. I enjoy doing career modes offline as well, so it's fine. It Meads, Taylor, good try and get through. If you guys do want to see more FIFA-based series, is like an Ultimate Team series or something, or a Division series or whatever you guys want, maybe even a player mode, player career. Then that can be brought very soon. And Fuller. Tackle by Tomlinson. Franco. Oh, I tried to keep that in, but couldn't keep possession. So I'm going to find professional a lot more difficult, which is kind of good. It gives me more of a challenge. Semi pro has just gotten too easy. But all I'm trying to do is try to keep our unbeaten record at home. Maybe not away, but hopefully at home. We did win 5 0 away the last game we played. And I can find well looking for a header, that's a part header. Maybe should have taken a touch there. Talking about Gavin Hoyt there, Barnett right back, Carl Sin is playing very well. You guys can hear that. But um, anyway guys Tomlinson now try to attack for Barnett and it could be a goal here for Barnett if uh Wimbledon don't cover themselves, which they do. Robinson losing out on the ball. So I feel like now put up to professional is going to be a very even game. It's going to be more challenging. Because the weird thing is, I find semi-pro too easy. I find professional a bit too difficult. But I'd rather have it too difficult than too easy. It makes it more of a challenge. Robinson and uh, Meads, there was some good passing. Aki Fenwa. Further on to Taylor. And Taylor's put it in for 1-0. Maybe professional isn't so bad. Taylor has scored the first goal of this match. Jack and Femmo laid it off for Taylor. Yeah, I think Femmo is going to be the one credited with the assist, not Meads. 
but that's okay. Tillman, nice goal. Just squeezing it in. Well, that's 1 0 here to Wimbledon at King's Meadow. Now Wimbledon just need to cover the defences here. We're going to switch it up to defensive, I think, just to uh, put a bit more pressure on them to score. But with me on defensive, it means I've probably got less chance of scoring on attack, so. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Excuse my French. <laughs> I swear. I swear by accident and on purpose sometimes. But anyway, I can find where. Talking about Wimbledon getting four wins in a draw in the last five league games, which is a very impressive run of form. And uh, Shea's going to come out and collect that. So it's 1 0 currently to Wimbledon. Maybe professional is a difficulty for me. Senzo, Frankham, and it's going to be a free kick here to Wimbledon. Referee decides to play advantage instead, bringing back to the foul. What, what even happened? All oh, right, yeah, okay. Barrett got a little bit screwed over there because nothing happened. But Robinson with a sharp pass to Frankham, waiting for the run from Fuller, and the run from Fuller is received. Goes round Johnson. Good crossing position, but a poor cross into the area, and it's well cleared by Barnett. So I'm enjoying this career mode of Wimbledon. If you guys want to see, uh, even uh, like I said earlier, if you want to see my FIFA oriented series, even possibly another career mode with a different club, that can be brought to you after I've done this. I I actually I almost had a heart attack there. I thought I was going to be a penalty, but. He fouled me first, so it's good, it's all good. And it Reeves laid off Togwell for Barnett, and now uh, Wimbledon could be a bit of trouble here. It's a poor shot, though. I'm going to see that again. It's a good run through, but it's a poor shot. Took it first time, could have maybe had a touch there. But, but Barnett don't quite score, and Wimbledon do keep their lead almost at half time. Frankham. Hard pass, I've tried to pass it to Fuller, but for some reason it didn't go in his direction. And Robinson keeping it tight at the back. Taylor now, Akifemwa. Ngala. Akifemwa's down. Oh no, oh no. No, guys, the, the unthinkable. The unthinkable. Akifemwa is injured. Broken, oh no. Broken ankle. And we're going to be out, we're going to be with that Akinfen with uh, the, well, till probably like Christmas. That's not good. But he can walk on it. He can walk on his broken ankle, which is good. <laughs> Maybe not as long as I expected. But Akinfen was going to have to come off and rest. And Aziz forced him to come on. That's not a good news. Akinfen was out injured for the foreseeable future. And I will have my revenge against Barnett. <laughs> Meads with a good tackle there. Aziz. Try to play the ball over to Taylor. It's good it's good uh defending. Was that by Ch was that a guy called Champion? I don't know. Benny anyway, Nelson in midfield with the ball for Barnett. Yaya Dom coming in from the right. And the 45th minute script could come into play here is Nelson to Justin Hoyt, I think his name is. It is Hoyt, but I don't know if it's Justin or there's another one that I can't remember his name. A free kick for Barnett could be crucial here on the verge of half time. And Osh well, O'Shea, I was going to say O'Shea because he used to be the Man United defender, but Shea punching it out. And uh, it's half time here, 1 0. But the news. And more important news is not the goal, but the injury. And Akin Fenwa could be out for a while. We're going to see his uh, when he's out at the end of the game, but that's not good news. Akin Fenwa did have that header miss early on, but here was the goal. Akin Fenwa laying it off nicely to Taylor, and it was a good goal to put us 1 0 up. And his champion, his name is Champion, one of the guys on that team. And Shea with a good punch out. 
So half time stats dictate that uh, should we be winning? Let's see. Yeah, we should have the advantage. We've had slightly more possession, more shots, more goals, obviously, more tackles, less fouls because we are clean players, more injuries, which isn't good. Shot accuracy of 50%, pass accuracy of 83, which is slightly below their pass accuracy, but it's fine. Go ahead to the second half now with Barnett kicking off with McLean and Akinde. Champion. Back to Akinde. And Kinde just running through the Wimbledon defence if they're not there, but Wimbledon trust their defensive here. Akinde holding off Reeves and now Hoyt has got the ball. And it's through to champion. And very good tackling by Darchin well, of all people. The left mid cleans up for the defence. And Aziz trying to get past Ngala, but it's good tackling from the Barnett centre back and it's come to Akinde. Uh, yeah, Dom. Oh, Kinde got the ball, but it was just wide. We'll see that again. Headed down by the other Barnett striker. I can't remember his name exactly, but Akinde just putting it wide. Luckily for Wimbledon. Asenzo trying to knock it on, but it's not happened. Isaac Asenzo, not the best of defending there, but it has come to Shea, who's spotted... Frank come out right. Tomlinson though. Robinson with a good tackle. And Taylor. Meads. The left back from Wimbledon who's been praised so far for his form this season. Aziz. Looking for some space and it's not a brilliant cross by any means. And Tomlinson can bring it clear for Barnett. I feel like professional is the difficulty for me at the moment. Because it's a bit, it's a bit more challenging, but it's not overly challenging. It's not world class or anything. I'm going to keep on professional until I've mastered the difficulty of professional, and then I'm going to put it up to world class eventually. But I think professional is where we're going to stay. And uh, Taylor, line up to Asenzo. Why is Asenzo coming up? I'm not sure. I put on defensive, and Asenzo's coming up to attack. But okay. He's left a spot opening in defence here. Akinde trying to header it on. But it has come back to Akinde from uh, Robinson clearance. And McLean. It will be a free kick here. McLean with a bit of a late challenge. And Shea. Trying to play it over the top. But it's only come to Akinde once again. Asenzo. A little late swipe there. And Akinde coming off for Kevin Lisby. One of the most prolific non-league. Well not non-league. But low league strikers. As well as a prolific striker in uh, Premier League as well, from what I remember. But anyway, Rig's going to make way. I mean, Bartram's going to make way for Rig. I don't want Bartram getting injured again. He's one of the key players. And with Akif ever injured, it's not it's not looking good. First game I play a professional and Akif ever gets injured. It's good cam defended by McDonnell. And Aziz is picked up on the ball here. Try to work through space, but it's very well defended by Nelson. Fuller getting the challenge in. Aziz losing the ball, but Fuller has got the ball back. Nelson mopping up the defence here for Barnett. And now Champion's got the ball. Togwell. Kevin Lisby, and I told you, I told you he was a very good striker, and he's proved me right. But that's not good. I thought, oh, she, I thought Shea would have saved that, no problem. But Kevin Lisby, the uh, small angle between goalkeeper and post, and he's put it in brilliantly. Very good accuracy from Lisby, if I'm honest. And uh, Rig going to come on for Batchum here after that goal. One all here. Naziz trying to make some space. That's a power pass off to Taylor. And Aziz. And uh, Wimbledon don't want to suffer their first loss today, but it could happen. Barnett do have the momentum at the moment. 
and McLean, Reeves, and now Taylor, McDonnell, as he's trying on to it, and he has picked up the ball here, and he's been put, uh, shot the badge over by Hoyt, but Hoyt got the ball first, so it's all good, Reeves, Meads, back to Reeves, 1-2 there, but it's cleared away, and make sure Lisby doesn't get it, make sure Lisby doesn't get it, he's a prolific striker at the best of times. I remember him playing for Co like I remember ages ago him playing for Coventry and doing really well. I think that was in the Premier League. But anyway, Taylor, oh, it's a poor first time shot. Should have taken a touch, but um, we're more than trying to get the victory here, and we'll do anything it takes. It looks like McLean's going to make him way, and he is for shot. I believe it's Sean Bat. I've heard of the player before. I don't know if it's Sean, but I believe it is. And Liz Bate laid off the champion. Togwell now. I remember Togwell because I did, uh, he was at another club I did do the career mode on V15. I can't remember which career mode it was. But anyway, Bat. And it's very good tackling from Isaac Senza. And it's very close. With six minutes left. McDonnell. Try to work some space here. And it has come to Reeves. Taylor, you f oh my god, Taylor, you idiot. That could have been a chance there, but Taylor getting in the way, and it is an offside decision as Taylor was offside. Which isn't great. That might have been a wonder goal. It might not have been. I don't think it would have been, actually, but it would have been a good effort to see what would have happened with it. McDonnell, it is going to be a foul here. And Reeves. Oh, that is a brilliant save. That is a brilliant save. I can't. I didn't quite see who took the shot there for Wimbledon, but a brilliant save from the Barnet goalkeeper. And if we don't win, if it's a draw now, then it's it's well deserved from Barnet's end, because that was a save and a half. But Frankham still pushing, still pushing, still pushing. And Frankham trying to beat the whole defence, almost did, and he has come for a corner here. With McDonnell on it. Oh. It's going to end in a draw. Robinson not quite getting the header that we wanted there. Unless Aziz. Aziz could maybe have a last minute chance here. And it is going to go out for a goal kick. And full time. But ladies and gentlemen. Won all. That's a quite a good game. I'm enjoy. I enjoyed professional difficulty there. If I'm honest, it made it more of a challenge. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna keep it on professional for the foreseeable future. If it gets too easy, or if it gets too difficult, I might switch to difficult to dance some pro, or maybe even up to world class. Who knows? But Wimbledon continue there on beaten running league two. With another one all draw. Taylor getting the goal early on for Wimbledon. And Lisby equalising for Barnett from the smallest of angles. Pretty good game, if I'm honest. And go see the highlights. Once again, Taylor. The rocket into the bottom left. And Akinde was close for Barnett there around the 53 minute mark. But here came the goal when Akinde was subbed off for Lisby. Lisby made it count. Taylor. I want to see this save. If the save isn't on the highlights, it, but, it, but, it it's not on the highlights, which is kind of weird so I'm going to take a quick look see on the match highlights see if the save is there the save is there and this I believe was the save from Stack and that was a good acrobat well it wasn't really an acrobatic save but I enjoyed that save and to say it was my own player who shot it I want to see who shot it who was it who shot how do I zoom it was uh, I believe it was Robinson who took the shot as well Gonna just watch this again. It, I believe it was Robinson, and it was Robinson with a shot and a very good save from Stack, the Barnet goalkeeper. But anyway, a good match there, one all, very close. That was fun. Oh, you, there, there's the news we didn't want. There's the news we didn't want, guys. Bad news, Adebayo Akinfenwa has suffered a broken ankle and will be out for about three months, which is not good. But it'll give other strikers time to shine. 
We'll do what we can to get him back into training according to the above timeline. So, for team management, we're going to just put his ease in, just for uh, easiness. Elliot will get some stats as well now. It's going to be Aziz, Taylor and Elliot fight for striker positions now. And uh, up next we have got Plymouth. And we've got a player conversation here. Carly Osborne. This upcoming game is crucial to our season. I feel great and I think I'll do a much better job if you pick me over a send off for this match. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do that but I also... The reason I'm starting to send us so much, guys, in case you didn't realise, is to get his potential higher. So I'm going to just start the squad for the next game. Instead of having Bartram, we're going to have a rig. And then instead of O'Donnell, he looks pretty tired. We're going to bring on Bowman as well as... We don't have any more midfielders, do we? Uh, so Reeves will have to start once again. But the rest of the team looks okay. I'm going to swap Fuller for Elliot, though. But that's the only other change I'm going to make. We'll also bring Akinfema down here. So anyway, guys, that was a pretty good episode. I'm proud of that episode. And let's see where we are in the league table now. I'm guessing we're probably second, especially if second place won their match, which they did. Leighton Orient did pick up a victory, but we got a draw. So we are currently in joint second with Notts County, only ahead by goal difference. But our goal difference is brilliant. I've, I've enjoyed this season so far. I'm just going to save the career mode over just in case I forget. There we go. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 23. Sorry, 23. My God. I'm thinking I'm thinking on universe mode because I did 23, episode 23 yesterday. But anyway, guys, episode 13 of uh, career mode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And... Uh, there you go, as you can see, everyone knows now, I confirm it's breaking news as well, I believe. It's not, but it is world news. Three months without I confirm was going to be a damn shame. We've got Meads and Fuller in the team of the week as well. And um, an interesting game between us and Plymouth. What place are Plymouth? Seventh. That could make for an interesting game. Plymouth, you can't quite see it on the screen, but only three points behind us. I'll make it so you can see. As you can see Plymouth Argyle is 7th there, only 3 points behind us. But it up to 16th now because of that draw against us, so I don't think they were doing that bad. And Dagenham and Redbridge at the bottom, the guys I'm doing my player career mode on are FIFA 16. But anyway guys, I'll be quiet now, I'll leave you to get on with your day. I hope you guys have enjoyed episode 13 of my AFC Wimbledon career mode. This has been Let's Play FB Games, and I'll see you next time for whatever I record. Bye for now.